or you're walking down the road and you get jumped from behind. It, we have a full on assault against law enforcement that many in the media don't even want to recognize because it's not the popular or easy or comfortable narrative. Oh, 100 percent. 100 percent. I mean, the false narratives that are out there are just absolutely ridiculous. We're dealing with one now uh, with Robert Wood Johnson Hospital. Um, it's actually a healthcare network. One of their executive vice presidents um, using her private or personal Facebook account um, reacted to a NorthJersey.com story that detailed uh, the Fairlawn Board of Education. They hired uniformed police officers to be in all of their schools. Um, you would think that would be a popular decision. Sure. Um, unsolicited, unprovoked, um, she commented under that story, who's going to train them to not shoot black children first? <laughs> How is it that every person that sits down today already has whiskey except for me? Uh, What'd you bring here? That is proper 12. That is a uh, Conor McGregor's release. Is this your way of telling me you're gonna punch me in the throat? Uh, no, not at all. So let's talk about your organization. Brothers Before Others. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, you and I were talking off camera a little bit about how what we wanna chat about. If we wanna do good day, bad day, um, I think that the important conversation for us to have today is not just about the organization, Brothers Before Others, but the why behind it, the, the what's happening in society, that we are in a day and age where we desperately need organizations like Brothers Before Others. Awesome. So, I mean, a lot of people have never heard of you guys. What's it all about? Benevolence. Honestly, that uh, you see a lot of these line organizations, uh, benevolence is in their name and there's not very much benevolent about them you know the, the the national reach that this group has and the the lack of politics the lack of you know justifying a need you know you you go I mean Mike founded the group you go to him I've never seen him justify an ask for anybody um, you know and a lot of times you see that with a lot of these organized you know, unions or whatever you know the first question out of their mouth is who are you asking for this favor for, and you have to justify that sure. ask. You know, Mike has never done that. Um, it, it's benevolence without politics. You know, doing the right thing for the sake of doing the right thing. We were sitting around having a delicious lunch prepared by me. Unbiased, of course. I no, it really was delicious. I want to give that a second to set in. Um, but as I was listening to you guys talk about the organization, what really struck me, it was really cool hearing so many of these different stories. Stories about you know, you come from this family that puts service above self every single time. But Brothers Before Others is really a, a beautiful extension of that to hear the stories about men and women who are part of the organization, who have stepped up and, and helped others, who were, you know, in medical situations on planes or had a trailer flip over on the highway just because this is the Almost family. Died. The family that you guys have does this without thinking twice. Um, how does it feel to be a part of an organization that has really grown? beyond just we want to make sure that officers have flowers at their funerals too we've created a nationwide movement it's it's unbelievable it's unbelievably satisfying i mean honestly especially to have seen a lot of this work that we've done face to face and to see the impact that it has on these families um, it's unbelievably satisfying why is it so crucial that this movement continue to grow well uh, that's a good question I know, and all of them. <laughs> combination of whiskey and T-bone steak. I mean, I mean, again, it, it's it's. I don't know. That's a good question. Well, I mean, That's listen, it. we were talking off camera about all these attacks on cops, right? It's no longer just, uh, you know, a bad guy does something bad and he fights back when you guys go to arrest him. It's now, as we heard from Jesse, you're sitting in your car and someone comes and starts shooting at you or you're walking down the road and you get jumped from behind. It, we have a full on assault against law enforcement that many in the media don't even want to recognize because it's not the popular or easy or comfortable narrative. Oh, 100%, 100%. I mean, the false narratives that are out there are just absolutely ridiculous. We're dealing with one now uh, with Robert Wood Johnson Hospital. Um, it's actually a healthcare network. 
one of their executive vice presidents um, using her private or personal Facebook account um, reacted to a NorthJersey.com story that detailed uh, the Fairlawn Board of Education. They hired uniformed police officers to be in all of their schools. Um, you would think that would be a popular decision. Sure. Um, unsolicited, unprovoked, um, she commented under that story, who's going to train them to not shoot black children first? I mean, besides the fact that that's coming from you know, a self-proclaimed educated you know, advocate, attorney, um, Someone who's arguably a role model. In oh, oh yeah, absolutely. She's actually being recognized as a role model in uh, in April of next year. Um, we can get to that. Um, you, listen, you're being very restrained right now. <laughs> you were pissed. A lot of people yeah. were. Within minutes of her post, man, I had dozens of cops who sent that to me saying, "What are you going to do?" For me, like, yeah, it it grew quick. It, it, it was, you know, one cop was diligent enough to pick up on it. Um, you know, he shared that comment, that comment then went viral. Um, a lot of cops were pissed. Um, and again, when it was time to take that fight to the next level, that's where BBO came in. There were a lot of, you know, we were talking about the politics of the line organizations and where they can and can't get involved in certain things. BBO, because we're not a union, you know, as some of the, you know, it's one of the biggest knocks on us. They say, oh, these guys aren't a union. No, you know what? You're right. We're not a union. And because of that, we don't have a lot of the, the, you know, the political pressures that these unions have. We don't answer to the same people that these unions answer to. So when it was time to take that fight to the next level, that's where BBO came in. But this story is just one of so many others, right? This right. Facebook post by this woman was just a microcosm of the greater fight that law enforcement has against these false narratives. It, I mean, honestly, for my opinion, I think it started in 2009. Uh, to, to uh, yeah, 2009 with um, Obama. Obama after uh, the Cambridge, Massachusetts um, individual was arrested and he even in his statement before his beer summit, um, he even said, he admitted that he didn't have all the facts. He admitted that he didn't witness anything firsthand, but he felt we could all agree the police acted stupidly. So you have the highest elected official in the land telling you that it's okay without any evidence, without seeing something firsthand. It's okay to assume that the police are guilty before they're innocent. That was the beginning of his track record too. Did the same thing with Ferguson, did the same thing with Baltimore. We saw it time and time again. Trayvon Martin, same thing. Yep. Trayvon Martin. And, and, and the best is Trayvon Martin wasn't even killed by a police officer. Right. And, <laughs> That's and, right. And you know, you saw it with Hillary's campaign, Trayvon's mother is, um, bought around with, uh, I think it's uh, the women and women of, of action, like that, you know, uh, uh, where, whose sons are, were, you know, either killed by police officers or as a result of police interaction. What do you see Brothers Before Others turning into? Because you guys have your core mission, you're doing it, you're crushing it, you're making a difference, you are helping people every single day with that, but you're growing into so much more. We, we're, we're an advocacy group. We are, we are an action group. Um, you know, I think for where we started, you know, it's just simply supplying flowers, you know, to uh, line of duty death services. What you see us doing with this case with Robert Wood Johnson is where we're at, you know. Um, you know, we give that voice, you know, again, where, where, where guys might want to try to go through their, you know, line organizations or their unions to, 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 to take a fight that needs to be fought, they can't, and they're told no. A group like Brothers Before Others can do that. They can pick up that fight. Brother, thank you for coming up. Thank thanks you for spectacular whiskey. Thanks for enjoying that spectacular lunch that I made. Outstanding. As thanks for sharing this video. God bless America. God bless America.